Hi Annika, what are you doing? I'm harvesting this whole row of sweet William. Oh, uh, so what happened? Well, um, I had this row that I knew was going to bloom soon. When did you plant it? I planted it last summer. Okay. And since sweet William is a biannual, um, it didn't flower last year, but it's flowering now. So wow, it's the end of May and you have flowers. Yes, it is. That's kind of a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But I also didn't realize they were going to be blooming this week. So. Why didn't you realize that? Well, I just forgot to check. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a lot of flowers. What are you going to do with them? Well, I'm going to call um, my friend Liz Wagner at Crook and Row Farm Stand and see if she would like flower bouquets for her to sell to her customers this weekend. And then I'm going to set up bouquets of Sweet William on uh, Lehigh Valley Farm to Table website and see if those customers like flowers. And after that, I'm going to be calling florists that I made contact with last year and see if they're interested in taking Sweet William. Buckets and buckets of Sweet William? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> It is. It, there, you have a lot of colors here. Really super variegated ones. I I think I remember planting, uh, choosing this variety because of the multicolored blooms. Yeah. Because I just really love that. Nice. Yeah, these are fantastic. How do you decide what to pick and what to leave? Um, well, right now I'm going to be picking pretty much everything that has like a third or more of the flowers opened on it. Okay. If I get too tired of picking them, I might leave some of the smaller ones and just get the bigger ones. So when you put them in a bucket and then put them in the walk-in cooler, what happens? Um, it keeps the flowers, so it kind of um, freezes them at whatever stage of blooming they're at. So not freezes literally, but no. kind of pauses them? Pauses them, yeah. Okay. So like... So they won't open anymore once they're in the cooler. Okay, so like this one here has some open and then it has some buds and those buds will just stay the way they are in the cooler and then when you get them out and make them into a bouquet yeah and then when they're on your table they'll open up a little bit more nice so you can harvest things that are just kind of barely open too Well, that's a great added bonus for you. Yes. Some income at the beginning of the season, possibly. Yep. It's and exciting. Yeah, exciting. Early, beautiful early flowers for our customers and people all over the Lehigh Valley. Great. If you want to know more about Annika and her flowers and her flower CSA, grown right here at Chemical Free. Um, at Willow Haven Farm. You can go to her website at um, willowhavenflowers.com. She's got um, a whole season of CSA flowers that she delivers to your homes. And if florists are interested, they can email Annika at what address? Willowhavenflowerspa.com or at gmail.com. Okay, willowhavenflowerspa at gmail.com. That's how you can get in touch with Annika. All right, thanks, Annika. Enjoy picking your flowers today. All right.